Hey gang, welcome back to the big board. So, uh, I forget who it was now. I think uh, Roger Morley asked me to do a quick look at uh, the Tactics and Strategy magazine, number 40, just to see what was inside and, and you know, the kind of the quality of the publication. And uh, I'll say at the outset that uh, you know, the, the print job and the artwork are fantastic on the cover. And uh, it is very specifically a what I would call a house magazine in that everything inside it is specifically tied to a given, uh, you know, given titles, right? Uh, lots of internal self-advertising. Uh, there are several uh, games and uh, really they're, they're scenarios, not games, uh, because you need the base rules from the different systems to play any of these. So they're... Uh, and you'll see here, one second, zoom in on this guy because of the glare. There are scenario, base scenarios, right? So they're, they're, the, they're the scenarios you're receiving in the magazine, and they're the modules that you require to play any of them. And you can see that uh, two of them are actually ASL scenarios, so that kind of uh, negates my previous comment about the fact that it's entirely a house magazine. Okay, so there's two ASL uh, scenarios. Now, it does have counters as well. Uh, you've got a they're, they're put it on thick stock. You've got to mount them yourself, cut them out and mount them yourself. There's lots of little information counters and bits and pieces like this. That's all fine, I suppose. The maps are you know, very, very attractive. That gives you, let me just zoom out. Give you a bit of a feel for things. I don't have a whole lot of time, I'm just taking a quick break in between uh, a couple of calls here. I'll try and get this done for you guys. There's another map. See that? Works really very pleasant and uh, somewhat evocative of a uh, particular theme that we're trying to deal with here. This is a Middle Ages uh, era, I believe. Naval. There's a naval uh, game map. And there's one other map as well, but uh, we'll leave it at that. The Maripol map, I think, is this guy here, which is the uh, fairly substantial map of parts of the Ukraine along the coast there. So you can see that's the city, actually, here. It looks like a forest initially, but it's actually a city. So it's quite a substantial map. Uh, I think you can play most of that scenario with the base game and you don't need too many of the actual counters. So a quick flip through um, historical article, talk, talks about what happened in this specific battle, uh, some nice artwork, the medieval games that are available. So a couple of, you know, one, two, three, four different uh, uh, battles. There's actually rules for the ship game that comes with. So that's nice. I didn't know that. A little bit of paperwork there for you. Look, there's three or four titles there. Some World War II stuff. And then the modern stuff that I was interested in, which is why I picked this up, is uh, this particular scenario here. I also ordered this game. And I got the English rules downloaded and printed off and you know, it's it's a little obtuse at the moment, and and looking at these scenario setups, I really don't understand how this all is supposed to work. But we'll work it out. That's all part of the exercise, isn't it? Looks like you've got to keep track of ammo, perhaps in the advanced game here. And I'm not sure what we're doing here. This looks like some sort of uh, steps that we're keeping track of, perhaps. Uh, children of the Crimea. It's another scenario terrain uh, chart there for the actual map, then uh, a couple more scenarios. This is actually uh, this is actually an article on uh, the uh, Polish Special Forces Grom guys. With an old badass, etc, etc, with their faces blacked out. Suitably scary. Uh, Napoleonic scenario, 1812 Bardino. Strategic Imports of Australia and the War with China. Uh, so that's a fairly lengthy article, and it's not bad either. It's pretty well-written stuff, so I enjoyed that. Editor's notes, some uh, 
other bits and pieces, World War II things with the base system that you require, and then two ASL, two ASL scenarios. And there's the man himself. Look at that handsome young chap. All right, there you go. Actually, that's not him. That's an ad. Is that an ad? <laughs> it's a law office ad. What do you know? Oh well, I thought that was the uh, I thought that was the, the magazine owner. It ain't. That's a full list of all the different games they've produced. Uh, I anyway. So I haven't played yet, so I have no comment. I'm going to uh, work out how we play this uh, this modern battles gig, and then we'll see what it's all about. Take it from there. Later.